All right, we are heading into the Strata Capital. And that looks like a really awesome dome looking thing. Ah, this place is going to look sweet, isn't it? You Liberté, the Azura Capital. Who would have thought a huge city like this could survive in the middle of the desert? Strata's power comes from a Valkanist called Duplamar. This country possesses the most advanced technology in the world for drawing power from a Valkanist. Got it. Now let's see if we can use this letter to meet the president. I suppose we should head to the presidential palace. Ooh, this place looks pretty neat. And very chill music, very calming atmosphere. I feel all zen-like. Ah, uh, there's no nothing behind here. <laughs> no hidden passages. The presidential palace is north of here and the inn is to the west. Thank ya, Brooklyn. Bone key. Damn, I can't use that that crystal we found earlier. Ah, and I got an itch on my ear. Got it. <laughs> ah, I got my itch on my ear. Welcome to you, Liberté, capital of Strata, and the greatest oasis the desert has ever seen. This is probably the greatest place in general this desert has ever seen, so I don't know why you're hyping it up the way that you are. Alright, let's head inside to the commercial district. Huh. Oh god, is this going to work like that one city in Final Fantasy IX where you go to the tram and it takes you to all the different districts? All right, governmental district. Uh, both lead. I'm guessing I have to go to the governmental governmental district, right? I forgot what the I forgot what the T Mart guy said to me. Hmm. Duplomar blesses us with the bounty of water, the source of all life. Only a select few people in the government know exactly where Duplamar is. I bet it's in the desert. Not that, nar not that, that narrows it down any, but still. Hmm, <laughs> you Liberté is the most prosperous city in all the world. I'm just imagining all these colorful assholes having the most douchebaggish voices. Like the most preppy sort of voices imaginable. This is the inn, right? God, there's so many places to explore. I'm kind of nervous I'm going to miss something, actually. Beep! Alright. Alright, let's make a pit stop here at the inn. There might be a guy to get requests from here. Oh my god. Pause, take a picture of this. This is nice. This is like a five-star luxury resort or something. With the no-sweat snowman. It's so nice and cool in here. Is that because of the snowman? Hey, check it out, Sophie! Snow! Snow? Somehow I doubt that's the reason. But that's weird. Why isn't the snowman melting? It's probably some secret Stratton technology, but why wouldn't they put the snowman outside? Then everyone would be comfortable. No, it says it right here! For indoor use only. Yeah, consumer electronics and gimmicks are sort of a hobby of mine. Can we buy one as a souvenir? We're not on vacation here, guys. Our money can be better spent elsewhere. Um, so what's snow? Yeah, nobody asked. Nobody answered her there. Uh, there's never any snow in California. That's the sucky part. I mean, not unless you go to like the mountain mountainous regions. I live in like the most humid, damn area possible. 
Ooh. Don't worry, this isn't for drinking, it's for cooking. Rose's Whisper. Yay, now my stew will taste better than ever. Too bad Mom drank half of it before I even started to cook with it. What is Rose's Whisper? Alright, so I need a titanium scabbard and a soaring crystal. Even living in such an affluent city as you Liberté, there's no end of things I want. The greed of humans is a shocking thing. Hmm. Scabbard, I don't know where to get, but... What is this? A cologne that makes you an instant hit with the ladies. Or at least that's what the ads say. Oh, it's a... Uh, something for Malik. Aquatic resistance, beast resistance. Hmm. Somehow I think we're going to deal with more beast-like creatures here, so I might as well switch to that. <laughs> Titanium scabbard and a soaring crystal. Not sure where we can get any of that. I heard the daughter of some illustrious family has gone missing. I hope you're not talking about Hubert, you know, since... He's adopted here. Hmm. Oh, I can't play the piano. Lame. Care for some ice gel juice? Apparently not, because I'm not getting the option to taste it. Oh my god, look at that thing. That is cool. As we'll save while we're here. Hmm. I can't go in here. Just circle all right our way around. That's nothing. Ah, cool! Suspended water? That oh, was... Are those, like, Creus or...? Hmm. Very pretty. Aren't these flowers pretty? They bloom all year, too. Yeah, they are, actually. I can't stop admiring the scen scenery. Very pretty. President Paradine has majority support in this nation. He attacks problems without delay and without regard for politics. The people appreciate such men. Hmm. Um... Equipment. Alright, so it said like a soaring crystal, right? I don't think there's a way for me to actually make it, but... I can't imagine. Hmm. I mean, I want... Uh, what is the middle path? Ah! Okay, I don't want to go that way. We'll pretty much go everywhere except for the place we're actually supposed to go. Because you know why? That is how we roll in this playthrough. We explore without any concern about the potential ramifications and consequences of our actions. Alright. There's something about the sound of flowing water that soothes the soul. Such a peaceful sound. I have to agree, actually. Oh god. North Gate. We'll go that way in a second.
The resident residential district. Hmm. I'm not sure where we're even going. Hmm, can't use those boats. Alright, where does... Okay. Had my question answered. I was gonna ask where this went, but Asbel tells me it doesn't matter. Curiosity killed the cat. This looks like the presidential palace. It's too big not to be. Alright, so I just ended up here anyways, even though I took the boat, I could have just walked straight straight forward. Hmm. The port to the north. Alright, good to know. Wait, I saw something over here. Oh, that was just the text box going coming next to her. Oh. Somebody might want that. Alright, let's head to the presidential abode, the palace. Five bucks says this doesn't go as planned. Does it ever in RPGs? Holy shit, just look at this thing. It's monstrous. We all thought Lot Manor was snazzy, but this just takes it to a whole nother level. Next question. Sophie, do you know what a president is? He's a leader chosen by the people. Yes, very good. Sharia told me. She said it's different from Windor. Yeah, Windor's a monarchy. But why do people need kings and presidents at all? They help to protect us. It's the same reason Lot needs Hubert. But what about Richard? He was our friend and also a king, right? So why does he hurt people? instead of help them. There... has to be a reason for that. And after we take care of the Hubert problem, we'll go see Richard together. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Holy shit, another one. If you look closely, it's actually a set of two fountains. So why doesn't the water flow down from the upper arch? That's nothing like the fountains back home. It's another application of Creus Arts. If I had to guess, I'd say it uses the same Eleth as our weapons. I bet it's based on the principles of Eleth coupling equilibrium, huh? Um, yes. It sure is something to see, huh? Strata is home to the water Valcanist Duplamar, right? Hubert sure grew up in an incredible place. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the wealthiest city in the world. You'd never see something like this in Windor. What the hell? Sorry, a flash of light came from behind me. I was wondering what the hell it was. Oh, I wanted to talk to the other guard. Government matters are decided by a parliament of elected officials and enacted by an elected president. Why do I get the why do I get the feeling we're going to go through the parliament? Oh. Nice has a nice cute little sound effect right there. Only elected f officials. Excuse me. 
Pardon me. I am Asbel Lant from the Windor Kingdom. I come bearing a letter from Governor Hubert Oswell. I would like to request an audience with the President. Can you help me? I will give this to the President. Please wait here. God damn, you have a gruff voice. Will the President meet with us? I'm not sure. I guess it was kind of rash to just barge in here and demand an audience. But that's just the per type of person you are, Asbel. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Lord. The President will see you now. However, your companions will need to wait outside. That's fine. We'll wait out here. Thanks. Sorry, guys. I'll try to keep it short. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. <sighs> Aspel dealing with government matters. This is only going to end tragically. Please, follow me. <sighs> here we go. Or not. Oh, I can talk to everybody. I hope he'll listen. I'll wait for you here. Good luck. They built quite an oasis for themselves here in the desert. Any words of encouragement, Pascal? That's not really encouraging, that's somewhat demoralizing, and not even part of the topic. Alright, let's just continue onward. Wait, you're... Dylan Paradigm, President of Strata. Thank you again for your help with the Rockagong. I, uh, figures right. In truth, I wasn't trying to hide my identity. But in that place, and with that outfit, I figured you wouldn't believe me anyway. Come in. Ah, perfect. Asbel, this is Garrett Oswell, a powerful business magnate and adoptive father of your brother. Oswell, your son has sent his brother to discuss my earlier recall order. Okay. Why that impertinent little... Asbel, let me start with you. Why have you come to our country? Mr. President, Launt is currently facing threats on all fronts. We need the continued leadership of my brother, Governor Oswell. I hope to come here and convince you of this. Your order was issued because Hubert was said to be ignoring the will of Strata. However, in accordance with the agreement between our two nations, his actions are clearly in the right. I humbly request that you refrain from quick judgment of him and come to a fair and rational decision. Very good. My reports say your brother is not fit to be a governor. I would disagree, Mr. President. Hubert is held in the highest regard by all the citizens of Lont. Interesting. I've heard very different things from Mr. Garrett Oswell here. I sent the recall order so I could ask your brother about the situation directly. The original plan was for a much larger area of Lont to come under our control. And in turn, for the supply of Krius to increase exponentially. Sir, is that a report on the situation in Lund? A president must have many sources of information, Mr. Oswell. I couldn't simply take your assessment as fact. Damn. Asbel, the letter you brought supports the conclusions in this report. Oh, shit! So then, Oswell, it seems you directed Hubert to aggressively invade the outer regions of Lont. Ah, this guy tried to screw Hubert over. I don't remember giving any such order. 
I imagine you had been hoping that prolonged internal conflict would leave areas of Lont with a power vacuum that you could then fill yourself. And when that didn't happen, you decided to take matters into your own hands and attempt to cause it deliberately. And you thought to hide this from me. You must take me for a fool. These actions go beyond personal <laughs> insult. They are tantamount to sedition and high treason against this nation. Ah, look at his face, it's priceless. I rule here, not you. I am the president of this country. Mr. President, I would never dream of hiding things from you. I simply meant to... Every aspect of our Lant policy, from the initial occupation to the alliance with Archduke Cedric, was planned by you. I can see now that was a mistake. And so, I hereby remove any authority you have over the region. Oh, shit! What are you? Mr. President, you know how hard I have worked to secure Lund. And still you would have me surrender all authority? Yes, because this guy is a boss. You will do it at once, or I will have the regulatory committee investigate your gross abuses of power. As you wish, sir. Ah. Oswell, we're done here. Leave us. Yes, Mr. President. You hold your younger brother in very high esteem, Mr. Lond. He is an exceptional person, sir. And I believe he can serve as a link between Strata and Lond. I trust him for this as well. However... There is no getting around the fact that his current methods will leave our country desperately short of Krius. If that does not change, I will eventually be forced to recall him. But... Personal feelings have no place when compared to the well-being of a nation. But if the Krius problem were to be solved, you wouldn't need to recall Hubert. Mr. President, please, give me just a little time. This is not a problem that can be solved quickly, Mr. Lont, and I don't know how much time we have left. I understand, sir, but I have to try. Well then, good luck, and I pray you find a solution. What a boss-like character! If I allow Hubert to rule unchecked, we'll be facing nationwide, cre nationwide Krius shortages before long. If he doesn't change his ways, I'll have no choice but to reassign him. I hope you can find a solution. Fair enough. Yes, let's take a look at the president's schedule. Why not? I love how he just showed up Hubert's adoptive father. Like a freaking pro.